on the DMC upside. Federal Pell Grants are back after a six-year hiatus to assist college students with classes. We'll explain. High school students can earn college credit towards a college degree through the Del Mar College Dual Credit Program. We'll tell you all about it. Del Mar College offers an Associate in Applied Science degree or a Certificate in Auto Body Applied Technology. An award-winning sculptor presented a lecture on campus, a poetry open mic was held in the East Campus Library, Del Mar College co-hosts the 2018 South Texas Underground Film Festival, and we have our regular segments more to watch and around campus. Hello and welcome to the February edition of the DMC Upside. I'm Emily Gonzalez. And I'm Carlos Garamsuay. We've got the latest news and information about Del Mar College. Federal Pell Grants are back after being discontinued for the past six years. The U.S. Department of Education has reinstated year-round Pell Grants, providing many full-time college students with funds to pay for classes. Discontinued for the past six years, year-round Federal Pell Grants are back, and the Financial Aid Department at Del Mar College is here to help. The Pell Grant is a federal grant. Uh, it's the basis of, of all of our financial aid. Mo the majority of our students do receive Pell Grant in aid. We give over $15 million a year in Pell Grants. The federal government uh, decided they wanted to bring back what is called the year-round Pell, which means you can come full-time fall, full-time spring, and full-time summer and possibly receive a, a Pell Grant for that entire time. Full-time Pell Grants could help the full-time student who is impacted by the aid that can pay for summer classes. This allows them to continue their academic career without disruption due to the lack of available financial aid. The so year-round Pell benefits students who are wanting to go forward with completing their degree in a faster pace. For students who were not enrolled or didn't go full-time in either fall or spring, you're still eligible for Pell Grants. So it really depends on um, uh, how many hours you went. Students have always been eligible for summer financial aid at Del Mar College uh, if they didn't go full-time both semester. But with the year-round Pell, the federal government is giving you additional Pell Grant to be dispersed for the fall. The normal uh, amount to receive if a full-time student, um, if they're fully eligible, is 5900 for the year, but they can go all the way up to 8800 8, for the year. It is important for all students to apply for financial aid. If students are not eligible for certain grants, they may qualify for other grants reserved for summer. A lot of times students want to know, well, is a grant, do I have to pay that back? No, you don't have to pay back grants as long as you complete your classes. Sometimes students don't complete their classes or stop attending, and there is an option that you may have to pay back the grant to either institution or the Department of Education. So it's free as long as you complete your courses. For more information on federal Pell Grants, contact the Del Mar College Financial Aid Services at 361-698-1293. We're taking a quick break, but we'll be right back. Vikings are tough. They don't back down from a challenge. That's why at Del Mar College, they've been our symbol of discovery and perseverance since 1935. Today, that Viking spirit thrives more than ever as we develop the next generation of innovators, problem solvers, entrepreneurs, and leaders. Because to go from just getting by to finally getting ahead, it takes a Viking. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me?
Welcome back. Eligible high school students can earn college credits while completing their high school diploma. The Del Mar College Dual Credit Program is designed for students who have demonstrated the ability to accept academic challenges and responsibilities. Del Mar College's Dual Credit Program gives Coastal Bend High Schoolers a head start towards earning a certificate or associate's degree, even credits for university transfer to earn their bachelor's degree and beyond. Dual credit is an opportunity for students that are in the high school uh, that can start taking college classes. So they get a jump start on their, on their college education. Um, one of the benefits is because uh, is the affordability of the tuition, uh, along with the goal of, of just getting, possibly getting your 42 hour core at least out of the way. We've partnered with 32 high schools representing 25 independent school districts to set students on the right path for a prosperous future. Whenever I attend school, I'll already have 12 hours done, so I won't have to take those courses whenever I get to college, so that eliminates time that I'll have to, time and money that I will spend in college. So it's nice to have the opportunity to take those classes here in high school and just be able to go ahead and further and um, go on to my career faster. Dual credit students currently make up 20% of Delmar College's enrollment with these students demonstrating the ability to accept academic challenges and responsibility. Del Mar is preparing me to venture into a four-year institution because it is giving me that one-on-one -on -one time with a professor in a higher level course and it's challenging me to get my work done and at a timely rate. Now we've seen a big shift in the past couple of years where the CTE programs or certification or technical programs that we offer here at Del Mar uh, because of the industry that we're here in the Coastal Bend, uh, an industry that is actually coming into the Coastal Bend, we've seen an influx of students' uh, careers in uh, welding program, in our process technology, instrumentation. So those programs are actually thriving within dual credit because of the industry that's coming here in the Coastal Bend within the next few years. For more information on the dual credit early college programs at Del Mar College, Call 361-698-1634 or go online to www.delmar.edu slash dual credit. Del Mar College offers an associate in applied science degree or a certificate in auto body applied technology. This program offers intensive career preparation through a combination of classroom and hands-on practice. Employment opportunities in the auto body repair industry keeps increasing. Del Mar College provides two-year training for this high-demand position. Currently now we have three certificates. We have a 31-hour certificate which allows students to exit within a year and start working as an uh, apprentice. Uh, our second level certificate is uh, 51 hours and that is usually a two-year certificate and we currently offer now an associate's degree program. Training techniques and lab equipment for the Auto Body Applied Technology program stays consistent with industry standards and prepares graduates for employers' current and future workforce needs. There's a lot of people here that haven't really done any of this thing before. There's a lot of people here that have no idea how cars worked at the beginning and it doesn't matter. You have varying degrees of people that have been doing this for 40 years, 10 years, less than that, hobbies, never, doesn't matter. Auto body technicians use special machines to restore damaged metal frames and body sections to their original shape and location. Students train using vehicle models they'll repair when joining the workforce. We've got young students that are coming in here to seek employment that are just basically started in the workforce. And um, that includes male and female. And uh, I also have students that have retired already and are looking for something to do as a hobby and they come back and, and either work on their own projects or just to expand knowledge and maybe proceed to even in, enter the workforce again. For more information about the Auto Body Applied Technology program at Del Mar College, call 361-698-1701. Guest sculptor Dora Natela lectured at Del Mar College. She also served as the 2018 juror for the college's 53rd annual National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show. On February 1st, 2018, professor and sculptor Dora Natela came to Delmar College to give a lecture in the art of sculpting and share some of her techniques. It's an enrichment. Um, it's a cultural enrichment. I bring my own home heritage. I am Italian. I uh, came to this country when I was 20. 
uh, mostly educated in Italy at the Accademia di Belle Arti, uh, the Academy of Fine Arts. And uh, I was exposed to a lot of classical art, um, and, and especially the Italian Renaissance. In addition to the lecture, Natela will serve as a juror to the 52nd annual Drawing and Small Sculpture Show at Del Mar College where she previously submitted several pieces. I, I feel extremely honored um, to, to have this amazing um, opportunity. And, uh, and I have actually been um, very pleased with uh, the variety and the creativity and, uh, and the broad range of uh, formal, conceptual, and technical um, uh, issues that are addressed uh, by the art that has been submitted. Natela's artwork has been exhibited in many venues across the United States and also in many private and public collections in Venezuela and Italy. Sculpture is tactile, sculpture must be touched and understood uh, intuitively and, uh, and it is something that uh, it's something that um, uh, Pablo Picasso said, sculpture is something you back into when you're looking at a painting. And he was trying to crack a joke. The fact is that sculpture, um, it's misunderstood often. Um, it's everyone turns to painting, everybody has a wall to hang a painting to. Most people do not um, understand the fruition of space and the silent uh, language. Uh, universal language that uh, sculpture is capable of speaking. For information on the Del Mar College Art Program, call 361-698-1216 or go online to www.delmar.edu slash art. It's time for a break, but don't go away. There's more of the DMC Upside coming your way. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. What does it take to go from entry level to management material or from the day to day to paving your own way? What does it take to go from how will I ever get there to look how far I've come? It takes a Viking. Advance your career and continue your education at Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Honesty, pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Thanks for staying with us. 
the Del Mar College Board of Regents held their regular February meeting on the East Campus. These nine elected officials develop policies and procedures for the college. The Board of Regents of the Del Mar College District held their regular monthly meeting on February 13, 2018. Under special recognitions, Dr. Nicholas L. Adame, Regent at Large, was recognized for being awarded the 2017 Best of the Best Community Advocate by the Corpus Christi Caller Times. And truthfully, I have to say, I'm finally glad that the Caller Times has it right and they picked you, uh, Dr. Nick. It's, this is long overdue. For those of you that know uh, Dr. Adame, he's been extremely involved for not just a year or two or a few years, but uh, many years in our community. Um, he's president of the Tejano Civil Rights Museum and Resource Center. He's been very active, of course, in LULAC, La Feria, and their different uh, activities and initiatives and educational aspects. Uh, president, I think, of that organization <laughs> of times. Uh, he's been in the paper recently for several um, initiatives, uh, the Dr. Hector Garcia Center, Health Center, um, and of course, uh, more recently, uh, something with the LULAC Council Number One um, involved with seeking a kidney donor. Behind any individual is a driving force of uh, volunteers. Yeah, that's what it's about, community involvement. <coughs> Core values are also the strongest top of my list that was instilled to me by my mother. You know, community is always first. So I do it gladly and I will keep on doing it. During staff reports, Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Rito Silva, presented his report on student enrollment. This has been a uh, different academic year. The events of the fall impacted our spring. And when I say events of the fall, I'm obviously I'm talking about Harvey. And uh, we presented this slide to you back when uh, we did the fall report. Just showing it again, just to remind us what was going on before um, Harvey hit. And then this next slide also shows our credit headcount when we came back from Harvey. As you can tell, when we were, we were up from 2016, now we're below 2016. And we ended up the fall semester at 11,833 students. And that was a 1% decrease from uh, last year. The entire Del Mar College Board of Regents meeting can be seen on digital cable in Corpus Christi every Friday at 2 p.m. and Saturday at 7 p.m. You can also view it online at bit.ly slash dmcregents. College students often procrastinate when it comes to class projects. This month, we went around campus asking students how they handle assigned projects. Well, as soon as I can, actually, the better the better I can get my my research or whatever I need to do it, the better the, the better you can get it done. The faster you can get it done. That's what I like to do. I mean, I don't really like to beat around the bush about it and take a long time because then the longer you take, the harder to get the short amount of time you're gonna have to work. I usually like procrastinate first, like since it's not a very difficult task, so I usually wait till last minute. So that's just me. But yeah, I, I don't wait like too long, but I give myself enough time. So. I usually start on a project probably like at least a day after it's issued because um, like um, I tend to like focus on other things and forget about it and put it off. It doesn't take me that long to start it because I want to get it done and over with so I can go do some other things afterwards. So it just depends on the project, it just depends on the subject, it just depends on the class. I would try to get it done immediately because I don't want to like procrastinate any more than I would normally do and it will make it more harder to complete if I don't get started right away. I'm actually a big procrastinator. I feel like I work better under pressure. Like I have a four page paper due tomorrow but I'm going to spend all day today doing it. That's just. Um, that's my answer. Yeah, I'm a big procrastinator, but it, I get more done and I, I think more deeply. But then when it gets closer to the end of the day, I regret not having enough time because I'm enjoying the project. It usually takes me like the afternoon or maybe a little later. I'm admittedly a bit of a procrastinator, but I'm working on it. If I know I have time, I take a little bit of a while. Um, I have a job, I go to the gym a lot, so I kind of, I procrastinate. Maybe about, if it's a two-week assignment, I don't even look at it probably for a week. Del Mar College holds poetry open mics in the Del Mar College East Campus Library. These open mics are available to any individuals who would like to read his or her work. 
Delmar College is home to several poetry events going on around Corpus Christi, one of which is the Open Mic Night, which welcomes poets from across the city and regularly happens every month. A community of writers come, a community of poets. Uh, some people bring prose as well. As long as you have a five-minute cutting, we, we don't care. And a community has grown up around the open mics, and uh, when students do come, uh, they are nurtured and encouraged as, as much as we can. The next open mic will be, won't be to March 8th, that's the uh, Wednesday, Thursday before spring break, and then we will have one more in April, because April is Poetry Month, and that will be on Thursday, April 12th. The second event is the third annual Corpus Christi People's Poetry Festival, which is set to start on February 22nd at Delmar College's Center for Economic Development. Over 40 poets from all over Texas participate in this festival. The Poetry Festival grew out of the open mics because uh, uh, the same core group of writers come. It's, it's a lot of the faculty from TAMU CC, uh, people from the community. Some people just come to listen. They enjoy listening. Other people come and present. We've had as many as 20 presenters and as few as three or four. Um, but it's, it's always a, 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 a good night. Finally, in conjunction with Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Staff and faculty from both schools will be reading from their newly published books. This event will be on April 18th in the White Library from 514 at 1.30 p.m. For more information on the poetry open mics happening at Del Mar College, call 361-698-1311. The 2018 South Texas Underground Film Festival took place January 24th through 27th. This annual event was co-hosted by Del Mar College and the DMC chapter of the Texas Association of Chicanos in Higher Education. The sixth edition of the South Texas Underground Film Festival screened over 100 films from around the world. A lot of these films played right here at Del Mar College. Whoa. In attendance were many of those filmmakers who traveled as far as Canada to see their film. The gentleman drove all the way down with his family to be part of our film festival. Our film was filmed in the valley in St. John, New Brunswick, so there's a lot of um, nice scenery outside, so we, we felt that we had to use that and present how beautiful Atlantic Canada is. It's a existential film. Uh, it uh, follows Peter Ramsey Jr. Uh, university professor that lives under his father's shadow. His father is a Pulitzer Prize winning author. And he discovers a metaphysical entity in his apartment where he can uh, transform everything, make everything transcendent. If it's from Canada, they can come as far as Australia. It could be just coming from across town. Just the fact that they want to share their art and be part of that, that's what truly makes the film festival a, a, a special moment. Attendees are encouraged to network and participate in Q&A sessions with other filmmakers. You get a one-on-one -on -one experience with a filmmaker and it becomes a very intimate moment, big networking opportunity for, for artists, the film, the film goers, and the filmmakers themselves. Local filmmaker Chris Ambris capped off the four-day event with a world premiere of his latest film. Uh, the film we made is Muerte, Tales of Horror. It's a horror anthology. It's uh, four tales of horror, uh, all kind of centering around different episodes in a comic book. And basically the film is about these girls that go visit a, a um, witch at a Pudendera shop. For more information on the South Texas Underground Film Festival, go online to www.stuftx.org. That concludes this edition of the DMC Upside. You can watch us on digital cable in Corpus Christi every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. You can also watch us online at youtube.com slash Delmar College. We'll return in March with an all-new show. We hope you'll be watching. Until then, I'm Emily Gonzalez. And I'm Carlos Garantuay. Thanks for joining us.